Hello everyone, it's Poofy. How are you doing? And welcome. So I'm not a monster, and I know this, this seems like a DVD case or something. It's not. No, it is. It is. But it's not. Do, do I make sense? <laughs> no idea. I found this game in my uh, in my Steam library. <clears throat> Wonder how I got it. But we're gonna, I, I don't know, start Space Tales? It's, it is a strategy, turn-based strategy game, kind of like XCOM. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, but in Captain Laser. First Contact Classic Science Fiction. Like in one of those old 90s, 20s, 30s, 50s, I don't even know, uh, type kind of sci-fi vibe. And I like that. Captain Laser. Your foul beast is dragging Cindy off to its lair. Don't worry, beautiful. Captain Laser to the rescue. That's us. Follow the monster's tracks. So we did that. An alien brute kidnapped Cindy. It's dragging her to its lair. We need to go there. The tracks are fresh. I'm going the right way. To look around, move the camera by holding the left mouse button or using the WASD keys. I'm using the WASD keys. That extraterrestrial brute likes warm, humid places. There should be a valve to turn off the steam somewhere around here. It's right there. So I was mistaken. It's not like XCOM. It it seems more like uh, Fallout, the classic ones, one, one or two. Great, the way is clear. I'm still enjoying it. Battle started. Yeah, so it's the game switches to turn-based combat mode when danger is near. It is like Fallout. <laughs> Can't see a damn thing. There's got to be a trap. I'll hide behind that cover. Characters standing next to cover will hide behind it and take less damage. From the cover direction, so that is kind of like XCOM. Uh, finish planning. Egg nest. There's a goddamn nest here. Those eggs look ready to hatch. I have to destroy them all. Now it's a good time to mention that our turn-based game is a little unusual. The thing is, all combat actions are performed simultaneously. It means that each turn has two phases: planning and action. That is really cool. What's that over there? Could it be an explosive crate? The planning phase is in progress right now. You've just planned a move. All planned actions are performed in the action phase. This phase will start as soon as you finish planning. Interesting. What do we have here? Pick it up. To view the contents of a crate, click on it while standing beside it. Collecting items doesn't require any planning and occurs instantly, but you can carry only two types of weapons at a time. So these are... Oh, I got a, uh, a void laser and then a grenade. Bingo, grenades. You bastards chose the wrong place for your nest. Uh, come get your dinner, kitties. Destroy the eggs. To use them, first click on the weapon icon. And then select the area where it will land, I guess there, and then I, that's the only thing that I can do. Here's a grenade for Mama. They're gone. Uh, the other one, do that one. Finish planning. And one for Papa. And then the last one. One for me, Captain Laser. And here's one for making me trudge around all these miserable corridors, asshole. Alright, take that, burn in hell. Now it's time to find your daddy. The battle is over. Uh huh. So we're going here. Um, examine the body. Another one of those damn monsters' victims. Sorry, buddy. I should have been here with you. Examine the body. Oh, that's just what I did. Use the computer? Damn, the door's sealed. Going to need a yellow key card to open it. Looks like the dead fellow over there might just... Are you kidding me? I just... <laughs> I just checked. 
dick. Thanks, Val. You won't be needing it anymore. Swipe? I love these visuals, though. They remind me of... Um, uh, man, what's the name of the game again? Outer... No. I can't... I can't see it in front of me. Out of this world. There we go. Or another world. It has two names. Oh, what's this? There's some drop. How did he manage to do that to a steel deck? Seems there... There's only one way forward. I hope Old Man Q's teleporter is working. I, I got a teleporter. Bada bing bada boom. Damn, the ground's falling away and the teleporter's overheated. Think, laser. Think. What's that? Another one of those eggs? Battle started. If I can fire the laser beam through the teleporter's string prism and hit that egg, then, according to the theory of quantum entangled biomatrices, we should switch places. <laughs> you what now? As well as weapons and devices, your hero has a special heroic ability. The nature of this ability depends on the items in your possession. There are many possible combinations. Really? So it's teleporter and a laser? Combining the teleporter with a ray gun grants you the swap teleporter ability, which allows you to change places with a selected organic object. I love the insanity of this. Like everybody, everybody, everything is possible in these old sci-fi things. It was a close one. Last time I jumped like that was back in the Yagal tombs on Utu. Although it definitely smelled better there, this place stinks. It must be close. What? Ow. Don't move, Xeno bug. Characters have two action slots. This means that you can perform a maximum of two actions per turn. Uh, okay, so apparently we walk there. Some actions take a both, ac both action slots, such as running over a long distance. That means you can't plan another action this turn. Okay, but I can see it. Made a big mistake. It's like I've cornered him. Void laser. Thanks for leaving me a trail of axe to follow, space gum. Remember, you can only plan one use of a weapon or device per turn. So even if a shot takes up one action slot, you can't fire twice. Now I'm definitely going to find you. The sequence always plays out the same order. Shooting and using abilities first, then movement. Alright. Pew! Now we're moving. Another one. Come to make an omelette out of you. Maybe these things aren't eggs. Maybe it's just really scared. I don't think so. I think it's an egg. Because it says so, alien egg. A locked door? Again? This monster will never learn. But this looks broken, buddy. Uh, go there. I take that back. It's smarter than I thought. Broke the door terminal. But I too have an A's up my sleeve. Laser power! We broke the door. Honey, I'm home. And that, that will cost two because it went there. I saw that line. Got it. Don't be scared, Cindy. This will all be over soon. Get away from her, you monster. Kill the alien and don't hurt Cindy. Uh, now to take you down. Ow, ow. And his foot. And then... Can we not move? Cannot move. Oh, I already completely killed him. Dead. <laughs> no, what have you done, Laser? We only wanted to be together. Wait, you wanted what? Hey, did you guys change the script again or something? <laughs> uh, whoops. Director. Cut. Hey, it's uh, Mr. Spielberg, isn't it? No, um... George Lucas. No, James, of course we didn't. What the hell are you doing, Gloria? Those aren't your lines. It's called improvisation, Stephen. We talked about this. Are you nuts? 
What do you mean improvisation? Now we've got to do another take. Gloria, look. The audience. The audience wants to see Captain Laser save another beautiful clueless broad from the clutches of the evil space monsters. They don't want to see improvisation. Christ, I'm so sick of the lack of professionalism around here, Steven. I'm going to the bar. I've had enough for today. James, hold on. Just one more take. I'm, I'm begging you. I don't even think of crying right now, Gloria. It make up to two hours to do, so don't mess it up. I'm 45 years old and I'm still playing dumb bimbos. And a hundred years ago, an actress like you could only dream of playing a part like this. Hey guys, it's getting pretty hot in here. Can I take this thing off? <laughs> so it is a movie. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, Creature from Space completed that. So what, what the heck is going on here? You're there. Oh, what? Do I... Ooh, the flipper bar. The pissed off action hero heads to the famous flipper bar in Deck 22. They say you can buy not only alcohol there, but also exotic substances from all corners of the galaxy. To hell with his life, to hell with his damn movie makers. This will be the end of me someday. But we're... We're on a spaceship. What, what, what was the thing with the green screens then? Huh. Are they making these movies on a spaceship? I've been following her around everywhere since, so here I am. Pour me another. James Gordon, that's her name. Get drunk. Trying your sorrows with something strong. Look, look, look. This is wacky. Give me another one. This is your character's morale. When characters do something they like, their morale grows. When they do something shameful, like hurting the innocent, their morale fall, falls. James likes to drink, raises morale to the maximum. You can't imagine the lengths it took to talk them into coming, the, into coming to the albatross. It's all about authenticity. Yeah. You got anything more exotic? We got something new in just today. Morgul scales. They relax the mind, speed up time. If you mix them with absinthe... Sounds good to me. I guess. I have to uh, turn on my uh, fan. Maybe. Oh, what is that? Drink it up. Glug, glug, glug. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hilarious. Great. Ooh, almost. The albatross is huge, you know. The things they used to do in the air. Hey, your scales aren't working. Got anything else? How uh, about row crystals? They're very rare and they pack a hell of a punch. They go down a thread alongside... A treat alongside the hard stuff. I tried them once. Didn't really do much, though. All right, give me some of yours. Maybe this time. Look, look, look. Another drink. James, this uh, can't be good. Blah, blah, blah. Plus 40. Yeah, that's full. I'm sick of all that shit. You know? Oh, look at that. that <laughs> it's all getting blurry. Uh, you can't do anything when you're a star. No limits. Anything you want. A lot of ideas. You got anything I haven't tried yet? We've a little something special for the true connoisseur. Emerald caviar. Famed for its hypnotic taste. And a truly astronomical price. Just a thing. I am a star after all, aren't I? Give me the caviar. It's in a bottle. Oh. Oh, we can mix them. When morale is high, heroes can make bold and unexpected decisions that allow them to combine the items they're holding. For example, they can mix alien substances with alcohol to see what happens. Do not shake. Uh, did, did we just pass out? Oh. What are you looking at, lizard? 
Oh. Um. The perfect throwing weapon. Punch all the lizards. I'm gonna throw uh, the lizard. Finish planning. There. It <laughs> blew up. Hilarious. Three against one, eh? Alright, I've got some tricks up my sleeve, too. Um. Finish planning. Ouch. Oh no, I don't know why I walked there now. Take that scale brain. I don't I don't have I don't have anything to throw. <laughs> Great bastards. Bam. Are you trying to hit me? You're in for it now. Here we go. Ow! Yeah, this is hilarious. This is great. What a good game. Battle over. So who did we actually punch? Is that a chameleon? I always wanted to pet a chameleon. No, wanted a pet chameleon ever since I was a kid. I right, guess, guess we're getting that chameleon. I want a chameleon. I don't think it's a chameleon. Complete laser's fist. We completed a level? <laughs> okay. What did we do? Yeah, so... Next one is gonna be this one. But I honestly think we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna do the next... Look at that card. Hey, that is the Tesla. Uh, or should be the Tesla. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Most importantly, tell your parents about me. And I, personally, cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye-bye. Mm,